Hello everyone, Sophia here for my great challenge. I have a treat for you today. Happy Halloween. Today is the state competition in Trenton. We are taking a road trip. Uh, it's just Scott and I, um, which is pretty nice actually because Edward had to work. Hi Scott. Thank God for Edward having to work. <laughs> and uh, he here's hates uh, he hates to work. I know he does. <laughs> but I keep on telling him if you want another job, you gotta um, get another job and quit this one. You can't quit this one without having something else. But anyway, neither here nor there. Where are we going? We are in the Wachung Reservation in New Jersey, and guess what? They have a deserted village. It's an abandoned village. Um, with tombstones from the 1700s. It's a full village that's completely abandoned. Pretty spooky for what I hear. It's been featured many, many times in Weird New Jersey magazine. And uh, apparently everybody had the same idea today because it's pretty packed. I guess that's one of those things you do on Halloween. I don't know. I've never heard of doing this on Halloween. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, did, I didn't even know there was one until you. We just found out about it this <laughs> week. <laughs> I was looking for something to do on the way to Trenton. So here we go. We're going to enjoy the deserted village of Wachung Reservation. I hope you enjoyed this. And then I don't know what we're going to do afterwards. Probably go eat. Probably go to um, the Washington Crossing because the uh, College of New Jersey where the um, competition is, is uh, actually right across from where Washington crossed the Delaware. So we'll probably go see that, have lunch, and then competition started at 8 o'clock this morning, but we're not on until 6, so we got plenty of time. I'll see you in a bit. So here we go, we're entering the abandoned village and actually this house here is not abandoned because I see there's a grill and a vegetable garden um, in the back. I'm not going to enter and go check it out because that's private property but the village is all the way on the other side and this is really pretty, how quaint. Private residence, I would love to live here if it wasn't for the horde of people like me checking it out. And here's Scott over there. I don't know what he wanted to do. So Scott was on the side of the road and uh, read some information and he found out that they started in 1760 around here and I think it started as a mill, right? Uh, yeah, there was a mill here. There was a mill and this is abandoned. This is the Feltville building and the old church store. It was abandoned in 1870. But I'm not not this house. I don't know when this house is. I want to see what's inside. They have audio tours. I have to come back. Can you guys see? Oh wait, that's the office. <laughs> we want to see the inside. I don't know. Can you guys see anything? Oh. Look at this structure, it's beautiful. So this was the original church. Oh my gosh, look what I found. Oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? Maybe that's a movie we should watch with the kids. <laughs> so I freaked out. We're At talking the about the Blair Witch Project. Have you guys seen it? Oh boy. That movie made me really uncomfortable. Um, Wait till you see Paranoia. Paranormal activity. Yeah, I just, you know, I used to watch horror movies and gore stuff all the time, but you know it's fake. But when you start watching movies where you don't really see. Um, well, that was found footage kind of thing. Yeah, it was that kind of, but it was more atmosphere than anything else. That freaked me out. <laughs> all right, well, I see a whole bunch of houses here. This is very pretty. 
and it looks like it's the perfect time of the year to come and visit. So there's about like three houses here and a whole bunch over there. So of course this is part of the uh, preserved history of the state of New Jersey. These houses are from the 1850s uh, and 1880s. This is fabulous. This is so cool. I'm surprised they don't do anything special for Halloween, but then again, the structures themselves are kind of falling apart. So I can see why it's all boarded up and they don't do any special activities. Look at this. How cool is this? So in 1850, there were 172 people living here, families and whatnot, uh, German, Irish, and English descent. And then by 1870, the town was considered abandoned. And why did they abandon it? Don't know. Not yet. Don't know? Do you not find out yet? Yeah, I haven't found out yet. It's interesting because if you look over there, I'm going to try to give you a zoom, there's actually a lamp that's lit. I don't know if you see it. All right, I'm not spooked yet. Are you spooked? We're lost. <laughs> oh boy. We keep going in circles. That's okay. We keep finding those little things everywhere. My phone has a uh, compass. I would love to find pictures of this place when it was still busy. Because um, I bet you there's some really, really cool pictures. I'm going to look online and if I find any, I'll post them here. interesting to me. I just realized this was built uh, in the 1800s, right? They were still on horse carriage, horse-drawn carriages. I don't see any stables. Where, where do they put the horses? I don't see any carriage house. There's no um, space, you know, for horses. Nothing. And what about cattle? Where did they keep their cows and uh, all of that stuff? That's very interesting. I like this place. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. Here's a barn. So they had a common shared barn. This one looks like it's been renovated. Uh, so they had the carriage in here and the horses. So these are all workers and they worked at the mill that was right here and there's a dam somewhere in there so we are here we just saw the uh, carriage we're gonna go back and then go to the cemetery these house two families side by side uh, this is what it looked like so obviously these were all workers 
they were working on the mill and it was a paper mill it was not a, a grits mill um, and they were book binders and apparently they registered on the National Historic Registry as a paper mill and book binders so this is very fascinating so all these people here were basically creating out of the woods here paper and I wonder what kind of books they were printing uh, well, maybe they weren't printing them here, but they were definitely binding them here. They also did stationery. So. And they did stationery as well. Um, this is fascinating stuff. I'm really enjoying this. I don't know if you are. I hope you are. But this is very interesting. So for, again, for those of you who believe that New Jersey is just industrial stuff with uh, big gasoline tanks <laughs> and ports and That's uh, the highways. New York likes to tell you know, New York likes to yeah. portray. New York likes to portray New Jersey as being an armpit, but it really is not. That's why we call it the Garden State. It was called the Garden State because the um, fields in New Jersey, the farmlands in New Jersey, used to provide uh, produce for New York City. For New York City, so Garden State. Um, but there's a lot of farms here, there's a lot of forest. Uh, of course, we have the whole Atlantic Ocean uh, seaside, but look at this, New Jersey, who would have thought? Beautiful. In 1857, there was they had the panic of 1857, which I guess is like a crash or uh, or a uh, recession. And uh, because of this, in 1860, the guy who had the factory here, his name was Felt. He decided to close up the factory because he wasn't making any money anymore. Uh -huh. And then in 1867, he declared bankruptcy. But he he moved to New York. Uh, after he closed it up in 1860. So he, he closed it up in 1860, moved to New York, uh, declared bankruptcy. 1870 is when he died. Okay. So, but remember that uh, by, the, by 1870, this was all considered to be abandoned now. Okay. So it's been abandoned for 151 years. 150, yeah. Wow.
but this was really, really interesting. Did you enjoy it, Scott? Mm -hmm. It was nice. Um, I had no idea this existed until sometimes in the middle of the week when I was trying to find something to do on our way to the College of New Jersey near Trenton for uh, the competition. And I'm glad I did find this. So now it's noon. We're going straight to Ewing, New Jersey. That's where the uh, competition is. It's like one of the burbs of Trenton. We'll eat there. Um, it's gonna take another hour to get there so we're just gonna go straight down there and then we'll find hopefully a mom and pop place to go and have brunch and look at the sites again this is where Washington crossed the Delaware River so I'm sure there's a uh, historic park there with some monument or whatever and then it's competition so it's a beautiful day and we are enjoying the time together aren't mm -hmm. we He's eating a banana. I'm gonna have my banana too. We are starving actually, but we wanna wait for a nice place to have brunch. So we'll see you in a bit. So we are in Washington Crossing State Park and uh, we are on our way to the Delaware River. Um, there's not a lot of people today, which is good and I hope you enjoy the sights and the colors because it's fall and it's beautiful. Take a slight left turn, then oh. turn left. Uh, slight left, look at that, it's a 90 degree angle, but slight left. 180. 180, okay, so we're going Johnson's Ferry House, keep going. This no, straight. Go straight? Yeah, yeah. All right. And this is John Ferry's house, and this is a historical site, very obviously. And that's the only house that's left um, that was around the time of Washington's Crossing. And the Delaware River is all the way on the other side over there. The house was built in 1740.
and over there, I don't know if you can see, is the river with the bridge. And this is where Washington crossed uh, December 25th, 1776. So basically it's December 25th, 1776 and um, there's a big pushback on the part of the British and if you remember or if you know, um, Washington left through Fort Lee while well, he crossed through um, Brooklyn into New Jersey and then they kept on being pushed through New Jersey all the way down here and then on the other side uh, and over there by Trenton and Princeton was the uh, Haitian troops. So he had the idea that he was going to surprise them just the same way that he did when they left Brooklyn uh, in the middle of the night, four o'clock in the morning, I believe it was a foggy night and it's Christmas Eve. So you can hear all of the uh, Haitians uh, celebrating Christmas and all of that, but George Washington decided to cross 2,400 troops cross the river right here and then the following day was the infamous battle of Trenton followed by the battle of Princeton I believe and then the rest is history but yeah this is really really cool um, if you are a history buff I'm telling you New Jersey is awesome <laughs> I love my state all the way on top over there is the uh, uh, water house that was uh, kind of like a well and then over here is drinking water a bit for them for them <laughs> this is uh, dedicated in memory of john honeyman who served washington and the continental army as a spy but there's more uh, to that spring house up there what do they say about the spring house well on the placard what they say is that they would encourage moss to grow on the on the roof because the moss would uh would provide insulation uh -huh. and what they would do in the spring house is they would put the containers of milk in the water because it would keep the milk cold and there and therefore sure. provide refrigeration for it. So that's the spring house. And let me touch this water, that should super cold. Oh yeah, it's cold. So right alongside of the Delaware River, which is over there, there's a canal right here. And people rent uh, canoes and kayaks all summer long and I think they do like not full but mini cruises along the canal and it's it's really long and Scott has discovered walnuts <laughs> open it there's a walnut inside find one that's not too busted like this one I'm not gonna bust it again I don't know, but there's a walnut inside. We'll do it maybe when we go home. All right, so there's a little bridge over there. We're gonna walk there, and then we're gonna look at the river, and then it's competition, guys. I gotta go see my Willie. Oh, 
<laughs> Nicely <Mom>. played. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we are at the College of New Jersey for the state competition. So we just arrived. They were finishing up the group A and double A's, and we watched their awards. And who won in the double A? Ah, that's all a blur. It's all a blur. I think it was Roxbury. Uh, and oh yeah, it was Roxbury. Was it Roxbury? Yeah, night at the Roxbury. Uh, I don't think it was Roxbury. Yeah, it might be so. So anyway, we weren't really paying attention. It's a shame. Um, the Triple A and quadruple A starts at 4:44. It is 3:35. Uh, I took my my I phone don't know. is in my pocket. Okay, so we're gonna be here for a while because uh, it ends at 9:30, <laughs> and uh, so we got the blankets and everything, um, and we're gonna have a good time. So I'm gonna film just Willie's performance. Um, and you guys haven't seen that yet. Because you haven't seen that yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this band mom is very proud, okay? So we're gonna film that and then I will say goodbye afterwards. Um, there's a lot of bands. It's We're competing against uh, 10 of the bands, so it's 11 bands in his group. And then the quadruple uh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, well, it's the state competition, not national. So I don't know if there's a national competition after that. I don't know. Uh, but we made it to state, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then after that, I think there's four or five quadruple A's, um, and that would be it. So I hope you enjoyed this. It was a, it was a nice day. It was nice being out. Um, beautiful day outside. Gorgeous sky. I guess I'll see you in a second for Willie's performance. Look at this sky. They're beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the main stadium for the College of New Jersey in Ewing, which is a suburb of Trenton. And um, there's a, uh, a big crowd on the other side over there waiting to come in. Do you want to do a, um, a gram? A what? A gram? Oh yeah, well, if, if I think of something. And then the 50-50 for the first part was $700, so we definitely got to play 50-50 tonight, 700. All right, we'll see you in a bit.
Okay, so I have barely have any battery. It's uh, 9.45. We won't be home until about 11. And we took third place. Yay! What do you think, Scott? We took third place, but the competition was a bit stiffer this time around. Do you think so? Yeah. What do you well, mean it was stiffer? Well, Elizabeth wasn't always in the competition with us. That's right. So Elizabeth took first, and they deserve it. They were no, really, they were really good. good. They're good. They were good. Um, their their color guards are excellent, excellent color guard. They got a lot of them, but they had a lot of choreography where the color guards all had to be in sync. It was really well done. Elizabeth, I mean um, West Orange. You know, it's the, it was the show, the usual show there with the superhero and stuff. I, we're not impressed with it, but they took second. And um, that was it. That was noteworthy. And then uh, in the quadruple A, um, what's the name? Westfield got second. I thought they were really good. And then uh, uh, J.P. Stevens High School took first and they were really good too. They did something about uh, Peter, Peter Pan. Pan. But I thought that Westfield deserved it. So if you're from Westfield, I'm rooting for you. Anyway, I'm running out of battery. We're going to stop by a diner on the way back to get a cup of soup or something warm to get us warmed up to the core. Thank God for heated seats. <laughs> It's in this car, um, but we got a long way home. So I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, this day in the life. Uh, you see that we tried to make the most out of it um, and see some cool stuff. The village, the abandoned village is cool, right? Yeah, I like the Washington's Crossing. And Washington Crossing was really cool. Um, so the next time around, we'll go to the Pennsylvania side where he actually came from when he crossed. He crossed from Pennsylvania, he did like a hook thing. Um, and then he crossed back into New Jersey. Um, so maybe we'll go see the Pennsylvania side next time. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel. But don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching!